let's let's uh, tell some stories because I yeah. have uh, I have a story here and uh, I have a lot of a lot of grievances. A lot of grieves. with you people. Um, oh. but I will say uh, this happened at New York. This is the this might be the height of white women. Not just this time period, but this story I'm sure. about to tell. Okay. We might white women may have peaked in their height. The from, scales have tipped. Yeah, in this this moment, this is where we go. Like this is the the breaking point, sure. right? Sure. I don't so. think so because they seem to be gathering in masses together and uh, sure. and really just throwing their weight around. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But anyway, so but you'll understand why. I am outside a New York comedy club with um with. I don't even know if I should, I guess I should name people because we were smoking weed. Who cares? It's medicinal. Okay, that's great. Then Brendan and... Uh, oh, Brendan Sagalo, you're worried about <laughs> sullying his fucking shit Of course shit not. Name? He was getting named always. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, also- Brendan was actually doing coke. It yeah, was yeah. weird because everybody else was doing a fun recreational mind expanding thing. Brendan was doing road coke that he just found in the gutter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Chief was there. Okay, sure. Was, uh, Which is a nickname, I assume. Yes. Yeah, unless he was appropriately named from the moment he came out. Six foot six, <laughs> looks like Blade, but like 350 pounds <laughs> yeah. of like just- Fat Blade, flayed. Where, where's, a du- where's a duster still? A black leather duster. Yeah. And is intimidating. Looks like the lead singer of Skindred, actually. If you can pull that Oof. up, Alex, uh, that would be uh, a fucking holy shit. Did I realize how good of a comparison yeah. that is? And if I can stall long enough where Alex I mean, that's. Like, that's like me giving you a Newsies reference, and you just you do pr- it all the time. Yeah, but mine is a uh, mass appeal thing. <laughs> Skindred. Who the fuck knows that? I guarantee we'll get at least one tweet about it. Look, I mean, it. that is chief. <laughs> that is, Dude, holy that shit. That is chief. That's chief. That's I mean, chief. <laughs> With a, that's Chief dressed in Black Eyed Peas costume. Yeah. Oh my God. What that, is happening? That's so. That's what he looks like. He's, what kind of music does that guy do? Oh, it's uh, it's like Jam- Jamaican metal. Oh, because I thought he just made robot noises. No, no, he's not a DJ. From the view of things. No, no I'm no. talking about out of his mouth. Like I just thought he was like. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he kind of looks yeah. like. How oh, they're less. Yeah. No. Not. Yeah. That's a different. There he he doesn't like, look as tall there. There um, he looks like an ex AAU coach that is trying to get his passion back. <laughs> <laughs> so, where I'm outside with Chief. So we got this. We have uh, we have Brendan. We have myself. We have you know he's a, we have Chief and MBM here, and then yeah. we have uh, yeah. also Oz, who is uh, who is a man. Oh, what is he? Is he Dominican? Uh, he's a flavor of Spanish. Or. I just I'm like he's Dominican or Puerto Rican. He which was is shot. Like very offensive. He was to shot, so I'm there. gonna assume Dominican. Yes, he was shot in the Bronx. So what does that mean? But there's uh, a lot again. of Puerto Ricans in the Bronx. I'm going Puerto Rican, actually. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go Rican. for their arch nemesis, Dominican. Yes. and then I'm gonna double down and say, what's the difference? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess one is Haitian, one is New York. I say, no, I say, oh my God. I say, they both have parades though, right? Um, Does Dominican, do Dominican have Dominican parade Day Parade? Have... Yeah. I Alex don't know. Alex is shaking your Or is that yes. just the march to Planned Parenthood? <laughs> so, they don't, but they keep them all. What? They keep the kids. No, no, that's what's crazy is they have so many and they kill off every third. No, come on. <laughs> I don't that's know. too many. I'm making something up trying to be fun and you're like, that's real. <laughs> that's real racism. Oh, they do have a parade. It's a Dominican parade? Yeah, Dominican Day Parade. Where Dominican does, Day Parade. Where does it take place? Hold on. Is it just a bodega crawl? <laughs> yeah. Chop <laughs> cheese. Get, yeah, you get a chopped cheese at every corner. That'd it's, be fun. It's right here in New York. Well, yep. yeah, I figured that. Uh, Washington Heights. Oh, uh, well, damn. See, that's on the other side. The Bronx. Uh, I guess that's below. Yeah, it's below Yankee Stadium. Doesn't matter. None of this matters. Nobody so, uh, so we have. Uh, what I'm trying to say is, we have a whole rainbow of people outside in sure. this little smoke circle, you know, and uh, a real Benetton ad. Uh, a what? Forget it. Keep and uh, we have this, this. So this white woman comes from the bar upstairs, where the Fourth Street location. So mm. it's kind of New York Comedy Club's kind of like a sub, uh, sub not terranean, sub, subterranean. Yes. And so we come out of it, and we're smoking. And this woman comes from the bar in the building above, and she is shit faced, and she's with her friends, and she's I don't know, I'd say like late 30s or early 40s so in it's that not range. Cute. Yeah, but just being <laughs> like just confident, right? And so. They wa- she walks up not with her friends she like leaves her group of friends they're all watching her she walks up to the middle of our smoke circle and goes uh, oh weed I'll have some of that 
<laughs> and then like, and Chief is holding it. Yeah. Okay. And he, uh, she goes and just goes to reach a bit for it. And then Oz is like, well, it's actually just about done. I mean, there was almost nothing left. Right. And then she grabs it out of Chief's hand and just smokes it anyway. And you, and we were just like, Chief was just staring at her. Like, I can't believe what's at all of us were like, I, this is, and she was standing in the middle of us. So she not only broke up the circle and stole it, but then stood in the middle, like the center of the universe, of the circle, and then smoked the rest of it. And then she was like, here you go. And we're like, it's, you've been smoking the filter for 30 seconds. I can't now. even be funny about this. I can't, I'm so <laughs> fucking pissed. Like, how didn't anybody 300 kick this twat right in her fucking tits? Well, we tried to be nice initially by no, Oz fuck going, nice. No, fuck nice. No, fuck nice. Some that. fucking dippy, wrinkly whore on the back yeah. nine of her dumb life pit, d takes a fucking joint out of another guy's hand and, and it's like, I'll have some of that. Nah, you had your window where you didn't buy weed, you dumb bitch. And it was 18 to 22. Yeah. That's it. As soon as you enter the workforce, weed's on you. You just got to do it. Your fucking skin is falling. Your body is 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 but crumbling you. and everything that you've ever thought is of value is shrinking by the day this no. step to the kid yeah because <laughs> the kid don't play <laughs> i can really harness that voice so easily yeah but what the fuck what it's the insane fuck? It was nobody, in wait did nobody scream at her Nobody screamed at her. We all went. So the, what the I mean, that's what happens when you hang out with minorities in a white area. Is they are you? It's your job. Then you should have been the one to cause a well, scene because they're the first to be gunned down by the cops at any sign of a scuffle. So you had to take the ropes and be like, "Listen, you fucking pale bitch, give us back our schedule one narcotic, and why don't you mosey out into Second Avenue and try to blow somebody for some drugs like a goddamn grown up." <laughs> Well, this is what we all took different tactics, right? Oz tried the thing of being like, yeah, it's just about done. So Chief did the it's not my weed kind of right. a situation. He had uh, no choice. Yeah. He is wearing a fucking leather duster. Yeah. And it looks like he's a crime fighter in the Matrix. He needs, yes. he needs to steer clear of white conflict. Right. And so and then you had uh, Brendan and I were just like looking. First, we were looking at each other like, I can't believe this. And we looked at that. And then uh, she was I think it was like when she tried to pass it to us that's when i pulled my card which is the wildly passive aggressive yeah. card which was just like she tried to pass i was like oh no you've smoked all of it you're actually smoking the filter now like that's what i uh -huh. i threw that out to be like but I'm sure would you be would lesson. you be surprised that the subtlety was not uh she did not catch it in her no. inebriated state no she was probably like yeah <laughs> Like, yeah. like, that's it. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I suppose I have. And then Brendan stared at his shoes for a while or something. I don't what remember a, what, what Brendan did. What a fucking did. I don't know. spineless Brendan's going to text us in, in three days being like, no, no. Feeny's such a liar. <laughs> guys, Feeny, oh. Feeny's a liar. I had eight comebacks in my head. I decided to say none of them. I breathed heavy for a while and then kind of went inside and asked if I could do checks. <laughs> Brendan is the king of internal comebacks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And he's like, I had something, but I didn't say it because the confidence wasn't right. <laughs> yeah. Was it the right energy? Yeah. Oh, my God. So I that was infuriating. That made me very mad. I, is that it? But that's what I'm saying. Are we not at the height of white women now where that's the level of comfort that they feel that's like, I'll just walk into the middle of a smoke circle, pluck it out of a stranger's hands, smoke the rest of it, finish it, yeah. and then just kind of sit there and still be like disrupting the conversation while her three friends, even her three drunk friends who were with her, were like to the side, like the three blind mice from Babe, just yeah. kind of looking, being like, oh, okay, you know, or just they couldn't believe it. Well, because this is what I'm, this is what I think is happening, right? Is I think this woman was probably, uh, this is the backstory I'm gonna create. She was the wild one out of their their bunch. They've been friends for a long time, mm -hmm. right? She, she happened to settle down, she had a kid. She probably got divorced because nobody could possibly tolerate that level of confidence for somebody who doesn't deserve it. Of course. And uh, and so now she doesn't get to go out that much, right? She's responsible for another life. She's responsible for a child. But when she does go out, she still has the residual confidence of her younger years and doesn't uh, think or believe that any time has passed. So her friends who have been out in the world and existing with the public understand that that is a wild jump to take with strangers. Not to mention any one of you can and probably has herpes or HPV of the lip. So this dippy broad is just 
completely gambling with her health. Mm -hmm. And it's just like it, it statistically, at least one of us should have had it. Yeah, because I don't even know if that's white women. I just think that's like that's like an over the hill person. That's a person who is like holding on to some semblance of relevancy she for she wasn't dear 48. Life. She was like 38. Yeah, so that's, that's over. Like, uh, that's over. Yeah, I know. But you're still like in your 30s. It's still uh, it's still was she in run. shape? She was like one of those people that she was like blonde and like you could tell she was attractive if she lived in a small town. Yeah. So she was small town attractive. So she is classic 38 year old sorority girl where she still has the shape and form from when she used to play sports, but she's packed on some fucking some some milk. Yeah, I suppose. Because she has she seemed I would guess she was a mother. Yeah. I, I'm livid. <laughs> I, I, I'm like, it has ruined my day. I had so much to do after this. I might yeah. just go straight to like a Kenpo karate class yeah. and just kick a six-year-old right in his fucking chops. <laughs> That's when you want to make your Irish goodbye.